One of the strangest and most mysterious phenomena in science today is the black hole. So strange in fact, that once you go through one, which would most certainly kill you, you will have left our universe entirely and entered some place else that can only be described as uncertain at best. It is a place where the laws of physics as we know them break down, and if someone were watching you fall, time itself would appear to stop. At the centre of most galaxies, you will find supermassive black holes. The Milky Way is no exception. Called Sagittarius A, this supermassive black hole lies hidden in the shadows of the galaxy's central core. And while we've known about its existence for some time, the one thing we've never been able to do is take a picture of it. Or for that matter, any black hole. We can theorise what they might look like close up, but even this has been subject to change. But the current theory is that it should look like a black dot surrounded by a halo of light which represents the black hole's glowing accretion disk. But from our perspective, Einstein predicted that it may be more of a crescent than a ring, because one area of the disk appears brighter than the rest due to a dramatic Doppler effect on the light that's being emitted. But to know for sure what they look like, we must photograph a black hole. This has never been done. They are impossible to photograph. The reason for this is that they swallow light itself, leaving nothing but black. But a radical new telescope will be coming online in April 2017 that may change that. The Event Horizon Telescope isn't really a single instrument, but a network of radio telescopes scattered across the world as an array. Known as a Very Long Baseline Interferometry, or VLBI, this technique promises to provide unprecedented resolution. The telescope will go live from the 5th through to the 14th of April and intends to photograph the black shadow of Sagittarius A superimposed over its accretion disk. This is hard to do. Black holes, for their mass, are very, very small. It's also very far away, at 26,000 light years. And to top it all off, it's obscured by dust and gas. Hoping to peek through the gas and dust, the telescopes will look at radio emissions from the black hole at a wavelength of 1.3 millimeters or 230 gigahertz. Because there are so many radio receivers focused on the black hole, the resolution will be extraordinarily high, allowing scientists, hopefully, to glimpse in the radio spectrum of the event horizon of the black hole. Think resolutions that could spot a tennis ball at the distance of the moon. The vast amount of information gathered will be processed and results are expected to be available in early 2018. In addition to imaging the black hole in radio, Einstein's theory of general relativity should predict the exact size of the black hole based on how much it bends space-time around it. This will either create yet another validation of general relativity or throw the world of physics into chaos if the prediction ends up being wrong. A big thanks to John Michael Gozio for the script for this video. Check out his videos here. Please feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section, hit like and subscribe for more.